que questions orales, oral questions. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. After eight years, the spending spree of taxpayer money continues. Liberal insiders are getting rich quick, while inflation and interest rates spiral out of control. Housing prices double, and more than two million Canadians used a food bank in a single month. Now, we now know that the Public Safety Minister's own department paid $17 million last year to the same companies that did no actual work and made millions off the Arrive Scam app, even after concerns of corruption were flagged. I have a simple question for the Minister. Why do shady, well-connected firms deserve $17 million of taxpayer money? Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Member, the Honourable Minister of Justice. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, misconduct of any kind in the procurement process is never acceptable. We're aware of the RCMP's ongoing investigation into these very serious allegations. To protect the integrity of that investigation and the work the RCMP does, we will not be able to provide any further comment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. I'll answer the Minister's question for him if he won't bother to do so. Under no circumstances right. do these companies deserve any taxpayer money, exactly. let alone $17 million. Exactly. They're being investigated by the RCMP. They did no work for the government, and nobody seems to be able to understand how they got the contract. $17 million for these guys, food banks for 2 million Canadians. That's what you get with eight years of these guys. How does anyone over there there, defend this scandal. Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Minister. The being raised by the member opposite is being addressed by the RCMP. As I said before in this House, we trust our law enforcement professionals to do their work and to do it independently. We will not be participating or commenting on their investigation. We know that it has been referred to them, and our professionals in our law enforcement system will do the work necessary to come to a conclusion. Thank you. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, they are certainly keeping law enforcement busy in this country. $17 million to insiders, and Canadians are still going hungry. Almost 2 million people went to a food bank in a single month. That is the highest number ever recorded. But instead, Liberals are worried about helping their well-connected friends. They are not worth the cost, and they are certainly not worth the corruption. So when will these Liberals and their NDP enablers stop helping insiders get rich and start helping Canadians put food on their table and keep a roof over their heads. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, while, while I'm uh, impressed the Conservatives are finally talking about supporting some of Canada's most vulnerable, it's unfortunate that their record doesn't stand up to the scrutiny. Mr. Speaker, I was in Kelowna yesterday to announce $31.5 million to build more homes in that community. The Conservatives plan to cut the fund that is actually putting that money into Kelowna. During the pandemic, Mr. Speaker, we continued to invest so families could keep food on the table, where their leader called it big fat government programs. Canadians would be forgiven if they asked, what are the Conservatives' going to cut in order to achieve their goals? Is it going to be money for housing? Is it going to be money for low-income families? We'll make the investments necessary to support Canadians in need. 